Border Area Development Minister Rakam A. Sangma on June 2nd said that the state government is waiting for a formal communication from the centre on the continuation of the Border Area Development Programme, adding that within this month a letter is expected which will give a clear picture about the implementation of the schemes. Speaking to media persons in the city on the lack of funds to develop the border areas, Sangma said that the Government of India has different plans and initiatives for border area development and there is no dearth of funds. From the Government of India side, we have not care for them. We have not, we have neglected our borders. So might be it has happened uh, of that reason. Maybe today, you know, we are Meghalaya, we are bordering with Bangladesh. So, like if you look at the infrastructure at the border, it's not up to the expected standard. Are people still going towards Bangladesh for all kinds of uh, facility for the for business, the trade and the medical treatment, even with illegal trade and business. But however, uh, tomorrow, so illegal immigration, anything can happen. So look, if we take, if we talk in terms of Bangladesh perspective, the most of the militants was, that is my area, my constant was used as the corridor for most of the militants to cross over from Meghalaya to Bangladesh. I think that's something has, that we should think of now. But this is something, developments of borders and what you call infrastructure in the border is a need of the one. Not only in Garilas, but in Castles, right? It may be mentioned that the then Border Area Development Minister Lakhman Rumboy last year told the Assembly that during the year 2021-22, the Department of Border Management under the MHA in a letter dated March 3, 2022, released an amount of Rs 650 lakh as first tranche, which has been utilised for implementation of 99 projects out of the 139 approved for the year 2020-21 and 100% UC has been submitted to the Ministry. The remaining fund for completion of ongoing projects, as projected by the state, amounting to Rs 741.83 lakh due from the ministries yet to be released in view of some technical problems in the public financial management system. For more news updates, subscribe, like and share.